Hello, welcome back. Let's play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the reference materials. Today we will be finishing off the Saab line with the Saab Vigan. JA-37, title Saab, JA-37 Vigan or Thunderbolt. Type single seat all-weather multi-purpose combat aircraft. Program, the Saab 37 Vigan multi-mission combat aircraft was produced to fulfill the primary roles of attack, interception, reconnaissance, and training. In 1994, eight fighter squadrons, six combined fighter attack and reconnaissance squadrons were in service with the Swedish Air Force. The first of seven prototypes flew for the first time of, on 8th of February 1967. The seventh was the prototype for the two-seat SK-37 operational trainer. First squadron delivery of AJ-37s to F-7 was made in June 1971. Production deliveries of the AJ-37, SF-37, SH-37, and SK-37 versions totaled 180, 110, 26, 26, and 18, respectively. The final version, of, with 149 built, was the JA-37 Interceptor, the last of which was delivered on 29th of June 1990, bringing overall vacant production to 329. Design features Tandem arrangement of Delta IV plane with trailing edge flaps and a rear mounted Delta main wing with two section hydraulically actuated powered elevons on each trailing edge. Main wing has compound sweep on leading edge plus dog tooth extensions and outer panel. Extensive use of metal bonded honeycomb panels for wing control surfaces, four plane flaps, and main landing gear doors. The fuselage is a conventional structure using light metal forgings, heat resistant plastics, bonding titanium and metal bonded honeycombs. Four plate type air brakes, round rear fuselage, pitch and lateral controls and trailing edge of the wing with conventional fin and rudder. Landing gear, retractable tricycle type of Saab origin built by Motala Werkstatt and designed for a maximum rate of sink of 5 meters or 16.4 feet per second. Power steerable twin wheel nose Unit retracts forward. Each main unit has two wheels in tandem and retracts inward into main wing and fuselage. Main oleo short endearing retraction. Nose wheel tires size 18 by 5.5, pressure 10.7 bars, or 155 pounds per square inch. Main wheel tire size 26 by 6.6, .6, pressure 14.8 bars, or 215 pounds per square inch. Goodyear wheels and brakes. Dunlop anti skid system. Power plant, one Volvo Fleet Motor RM8D turbofan rated at 72.1 kN or 16,203 pounds force dry, and 125 kN or 28,108 pounds force with afterburn. Thrust reverser doors actuated automatically by compression of oleo as nose gear strikes runway. Fuel in one tank in each wing, saddle tank over engine, one tank in each side of fuselage, and one aft cockpit. Pressure refueling point beneath starboard wing, provision for jettisonable external tank on centerline pylon. Avionics, advanced target search and acquisition system based on high performance long range Ericsson PS 46-A pulse Doppler radar resistant to variations of weather, altitude, clutter, and ECM. Automatic speed control system, Smith's electronic head up display, Bofors aeronautics aircraft added to uh, attitude instruments, radio and fighter link equipment, plus the electronic SK2037 central digital computer, Garrett LD5 digital air data computer, plus the electronic KT70L inertial measuring equipment, Honeywell Saab Scania SA07 digital automatic flight control system, Honeywell radar altimeter, SAT radar warning system. Ericsson Radar Display System and Electronic Countermeasures and AIL Tactical Instrument Landing System or TILS. Most avionics connected to Central Digital Computer, which is programmed to check out and monitor these systems both on the ground and during flight. Ram air cooling for avionics compartment. Armament. Permanent underbelly pack offset to port side of centerline containing one 30mm Orlikin KCA long range cannon with 150 rounds. Three under fuselage and four under wing hardpoints. Armament can include two Bay Sky Flash, Swedish designation RB71, and six AIM-9L Sidewinders, Swedish designation RB74 air to air missiles. For air to surface attack, a total of 24 135mm rockets can be carried in four pods. Dimensions external. Main wing span 10.6 meters or 34 feet, 9 and a quarter inches. Main wing aspect ratio 2.4. 
Four plane span, 5.45 meters or 17 feet, 10 and a half inches length overall, including probe, 16.4 meters or 53 feet, 9 and 3 quarters of inches. Fuselage, 15.58 meters or 51 feet and 1 and a half inches. Height overall, 5.9 meters or 19 feet, 4 and a quarter inches. Main fin folded, 4 meters or 13 feet, 1 and a half inches. Areas, main wings gross, 46 meters squared or 495.1 square feet. Four planes outside fuselage, 6.2 meters squared or 66.74 square feet. Weights and loadings, approximately takeoff weight clean, 16,400 kilograms or 36,146 pounds. With normal armament, 17,000 kilograms or 37,478 pounds. Performance, max level speed at high altitude above Mach 2. At 100 meters or 330 feet, Mach 1.2. Approach speed, approximately 119 knots or 220 kilometers per hour or 137 miles per hour. Time to 10,000 meters or 32,800 feet from breaks off with afterburning less than 1 minute 40 seconds. Length 16.4 meters, height 5.9 meters, max level speed 1,146 knots, take off run 400 meters, landing run 500 meters. And here we can see in its distinctive green color the Saab Vigan, which bears at least a passing resemblance to the grip in, in that they, they're both delta wing planes with four planes although the griffin obviously has more rectangular intakes uh most notably there and probably a different engine i believe uh, so this was sweden's dominant uh fighter interceptor attack aircraft for a while but uh is now being replaced by the griffin so and with that, we have finished our Swedish fighters. I believe next week we'll actually start going back to Soviet and Russian aircraft. But until then, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there. And we'll see you then.